Good morning, everybody. Today, we're starting a new project. Today marks the day that I am beginning to modify a boat trailer to help tow my uh, kayak armada, the gear I need to take with me. And it's going to be quite a project. <laughs> If you're new to the channel, uh, really quick, my name is VP. This is a channel that's dedicated to our little family from Rhode Island. We call ourselves Home Team, and it's a, it's a channel to kind of catalog all the adventures and things that we get into. We have videos about life in general. We got videos about fishing. We got videos about travel. If uh, if that stuff interests you, smash that subscribe button, hit that uh, notification bell, and uh, yeah, let's get to the project. Reputation as a handyman is not exactly the greatest. We're gonna wing it though. We're gonna try to figure this out. I'm at Lowe's right now, actually, in the parking lot recording this. And uh, Liz is at home, a little nervous of me going to Lowe's by myself. But we're gonna power through it and we're going to get the job done, get the things that I need. Right now, I think I'm gonna need uh, some PVC pipe uh, to put the kayak on. I'm gonna need lights and a wiring harness uh, for the trailer. And there's other things I need to get. Supply chains are pretty slow right now, so I'm, I can only get a little bit at a time. This is gonna be a, a multiple day uh, recording and video to put together because it is gonna take a little while to go. Uh, but step one, we're at Lowe's to, uh, to get it done. I was supposed to start working on the kayak today outside, making all the modifications, but it's raining. And who knew, power tools and rain don't mix. Probably just about everyone watching this video except me. Gonna need a cart. If I can get one. So the trailer that I'm modifying is a single uh, jet ski trailer. Got it off of Craigslist. Um, and surprisingly, this time of year, for whatever reason, maybe it's COVID, I don't really know, getting these types of trailers has been pretty difficult to do. Craigslist hasn't had a lot. Uh, Facebook. Nothing really listed a whole lot. Uh, if you go to the dealer, buy a brand new one, you're waiting for several weeks. Um, luckily, I found this one on Craigslist and I snatched up literally within minutes of its listing. Uh, paid a couple hundred bucks for it. The guy even delivered it, dropped it off uh, at the house, which was great. And uh, yeah, it's been kind of sitting in the driveway ever since. I had to get it registered and that took several weeks because the, the DMV is uh, reducing capacity. You have to get an appointment. Um, but got it done, got the plate. Set, all set, ready to go. Today starts the modification. Um, like I said, I'm at Lowe's right now, uh, looking to get some PVC pipe, uh, put the kayak to run on, uh, to sit on. The, uh, the jet ski trailer had these wooden runners on it that just weren't gonna uh, work. They're in bad condition anyway, so I'm gonna take them off. And the lights are all smashed up. So we gotta pull out the wires, put a new wiring harness in, install new lights, and at the minimal, that will be ready to go. It'll be ready to, to get on the road and take the, the pro angler around wherever we want to go. But the problem is that I want to add a second tier to it to also haul the, the feel-free kayak and a gearbox and rods and all this other stuff. So uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a project. Uh, stay to the end, you'll see the finished product. Uh, it's gonna work, it's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be a good thing take the trailer to a shop to get those runners uh, taken off because the bolts were so rusted on they actually busted some of my tools trying to get them off some of those sockets trying to get them off so I had to take them to a, to a machine shop or a, a car shop to uh, get them removed. Now I gotta move these things forward because the pro angler is 14 feet long roughly 14 feet long this only gives me eight and a half feet from the winch to the end of the boat, so it's a lot of boat hanging off the back end of it. So I'm gonna move those things forward and lay the PVC pipes down uh, for the uh, kayak to rest on. So these have been moved up, and this is essentially what the bottom layer of the trailer is going to look like. These aren't fastened in or anything, they're just kind of sitting there right now. But that's essentially what it's gonna be in the pro angle, it'll rest right on top of those PVC pipes. I just gotta find the right width distance apart, distance off center to put them on. I think I found that online somewhere. And uh, bolt those on. And then it'll be good to go at least with the base layer. The next step is to rewire the trailer. Remove these tail lights, rewire it all the way up to the front. So that will be today's task. Should be interesting. 
This, my friends, is a beautiful sight. Took a hacksaw and some elbow grease, but the lights work. Well, there it is. Version 1.0 done. Wired, new lights, PVC pipe, it's got a license plate. Got some minor tweaks to do to it, but it's good enough to use for tomorrow. So we'll see how it goes. Part two to come. Well, it worked. Went down to the uh, marina, picked up the pro angler and I made it back. It did not fall off and the trailer did not become disconnected. All wins.